So on a new episode of the British reality show Love Island, a contestant described herself as a cougar and has prompted <laughs> renewed debate about the term. So should we still be using it to describe women who dig younger people or should it permanently be retired? And just by the way, the contestant who described herself as a cougar, she's 27 years old. <laughs> just leave that there. Okay. How old was the guy? I, well, how old was the guy? Good question. I do not know. <laughs> what do we think about this term, cougar? Should it be I, retired? I'm all for reclaiming terms, like especially terms that were used to weaponize against us. And we're talking about a term that was initially misogynistic, um, initially to describe sort of an older woman who goes for younger men. Um, Notice how there's no term that uh, is equivalent for men who go for younger women. Yeah. Because yeah. it's just normalized in society. Yeah. So, um, We could have, like, we could make a general like term. Like a panther? Like a Leonardo DiCaprio? <laughs> indeed, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> you know, or Bing Crosby. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and so I'm all for reclaiming those words and using them uh, in an empowering way. It's the same way that, like, personally, the fat community, we've all re reclaimed fat at this point, or a lot of us have, uh, reclaiming the word queer. Uh, because it takes away the weaponization and it empowers you to, it empowers you to use it. However, um, the fact that she's 27 and self-identified <laughs> as a cougar, cougar, what am I then? Like a hedgehog? I don't know. What's fast? Yeah, what, I don't know what's fast cougar? Because we is long past 27, honey. <laughs> <laughs> it's also because you know it's a specific. It's the cougar, which is a class of animal that's like a predator. Yes. Right. So there's, it's that associated with it. Yes. It is that this is a kind of woman who is in Plucking the on the prowl. coming out on of the, the jungle, <laughs> hungry, you know, hunt, very and, hungry. Yes, <laughs> and has her sights set on a young cub and is about to. Whereas, if there was an equivalent for men, yes. Leonardo DiCaprio's of the world, sure. for example, yeah. that word, whether or not it's a predator, and they would use a word like wolf. It wouldn't hold the same weight. But it would be cool for it would them. Be cool, like yeah. wolf to describe a dude yeah, is yeah. kind of an ego boost. Yeah. So it's still not the same. Well, let's right? make this cool though. That's like this is I the question right now. It's impossible to make right? cool. I just don't <laughs> see it. I can't I love what you're saying about reclaiming words, but it still is one of those you have to use it for yourself yes. as a self-descriptor. Yes. You don't want people lobbing it at you no, in exactly. a negative way. Yeah. And I feel like no matter what, that's it's part of the baked in sort of misogyny in our culture that we do need to shake off. I just think we need to like drop maybe calling it anything. Yeah. Just call I it like, dating. But, yeah. but is it? <laughs> Fair. No, that's a, that's a good point. Is it something that is just for our particular generation? Like, are millennials and Gen Zers even using this term anymore? I don't know. Well, I, clearly that one is. That yeah, one yeah, is. maybe affectionately. Clearly, I, I, because I don't actually hear that word anymore. Well, and 27 is a kind of Gen Z. Sh yeah. Sure, but that's why I was like, okay, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Z. my husband is four years younger. I think all of our husbands are younger, are they not? No. Mine is no. seven okay. days younger. Seven days younger. <laughs> yeah, and I remember, I, like, Ryan would use that word sometimes towards me, and I just thought it was, I never, I never thought of it any other way. But maybe the obvious thing here is that when I was younger and I would hear of someone who's 40 and I was like, 10, I'd be like, oh, that's so old, 40 is so old. <laughs> and you'd have a, an idea of mostly with our teachers, like that's what 40 looks like. And can I say, I think the reason why, at least for me, the word, it doesn't, it's neutral, is because women, I feel like, like when I think of a Priyanka Chopra and Nick Jonas, for example, there's 10 years between them. Mm -hmm. Lisa Bonet and Jason Momoa, there was 18 years there. Mm -hmm. 10 years, Gabrielle Union, Dwayne Wade. Those women look better than their men. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they got like a decade and plus over yeah. them. So I feel like women just also look, and maybe it's just my, me being now that I'm 45, and I'm like, of course 45's young guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but maybe we're just taking care of ourselves differently and we have access to different things. Because when I think of like a, an Aaron Taylor Johnson and, and his wife, I, that's when people are like, oh yeah, you can see the difference, and is that what is making people uncomfortable? But otherwise, I'm like, let this term go, or it's neutral to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, do you do you think it's um, any different if about when you bring them home? Like, if you had a daughter and she brought home someone who was older, 10, 15 years, mm -hmm. is it the same reaction as when you have a son and he's? 20 and brings home a 40 year old. Like, do you th <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, audience. Ew. Thank you, oh audience. Gosh. <laughs> okay, so like, when we're talking about ingrained uh, notions, 
it is different even with when, how we see our relatives, our children, or whatever. Like, there was no reaction when I talked about the daughter bringing home an older man, but there was a distinct reaction oh, I had about talking about the son bringing misogyny, home. I don't know. I had a friend in university who was 25 and dating a 50-year-old, and we had thoughts. <laughs> we had thoughts about it. That was a woman dating a, an yeah. older guy. So yeah. I don't know if that's universally true. I think yeah. there are still judgments in both directions, depending on what the age I know is. that, you know, in pop culture, you know, you brought up all those examples. There's one that's hitting this week. There is a rumor that Sean Mendez, 24, mm. is dating his uh, chiropractor. It's just a rumor not confirmed. Mm. A chiropractor, 51 years old. Okay. Oh, wow, the gasps. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and But in Hollywood, every single day, a 51-year-old, a 70-year-old is with a 20-year-old. Mm -hmm. And yes, some of us are skeeved by it, mm -hmm. but it doesn't come with that, like... Stigma. Yeah. There's yeah. something. Yeah. And I do, I listen, I have friends myself. I hear what you're saying, Cynthia, but I don't think it's generalized. But I do think that reaction is way stronger when it comes to a boy. A mm -hmm. boy, a man, like someone who was your baby. But I think and then an older things, woman. There's don't, something don't think, there. Hollywood is so, you know, for all the, the nonsense that comes out of Hollywood, what it, I think it is doing is starting to normalize more and more and more mm -hmm. the older woman with the younger, the younger man. Like when, when Harry Styles and Olivia Wilde came out, I never looked twice. I was like, oh, that's a hot couple. That's you no, didn't. Or do you remember yeah. the Tina backlash? Turner. Really? Tina Turner. The backlash to that was so toxic. Mm -hmm. it was from his so fandom, amazing. though. So from his fandom. So, okay, that, but I understand, because they want to protect Harry. No, they don't all, care about her. The young girl, like the young girls who are fans of his, so this is dealing with generational, were like, mm -hmm. this woman and they use different words for woman. This person is too old for him. Why can't he be? Like, it is, it I is something strong. I think they were mad because they were like, he maybe won't date us anymore. <laughs> but like, were we mad at Michael Douglas for Catherine Zeta-Jones though? Mm -hmm. I don't think we were, right? Yeah. And so that's the question is like, you have to actually look at your internalized misogyny and wonder if it's because it's an older woman dating younger. Because mm -hmm. I mean, Tina Turner's like 77 and her partner is 36 or something. Go for yeah. it. Share. Get it. Yeah. Share. That's Share. not new. Yeah. Madonna. No, but Tina as well. But yeah. yes, also, yeah. Right, Madonna. Yeah. Yeah. Get it. Share. Go for it. Get it. Yeah. Yeah. Get it. Get it. Wherever get it, it is, girl. get it. I know. Ryan, get I'll be it. calling you later. <laughs> After the break. That's my husband, by the way. Don't worry. Hey there. Wasn't that great? Do you know where you can find some equally good content? Our YouTube page. It's filled with discussions, debates, and some laughs. Head there now, like and subscribe.